and I just had a, a quick tip about creating user setups and about paint work. So uh, very often I have to paint out uh, objects in a frame and create uh, clean plates and uh, I like to call it uh, patch and paint but usually it's paint and then patch the reverse because I need to make a clean plate a clean plate out of something so what I'll do is uh, I have a little go-to setup that I use all the time and it starts something like this where I'll have this little uh, pipeline set up where I have a, f a freeze frame on either side of a paint node. And the reason I do that is because if you uh, paint on sequence using this setting, the setup gets very heavy because it's having to render the paint or manage the paint strokes on each and every frame. Instead, um, I just have it set up where I just paint on a single frame, add a freeze frame after the, the single frame of paint, and then regrain it. And that regrain is um, what I use. Uh, it's typically set for area log C. And I just put a temporary color correction uh, at the head of my pipeline just to make sure I'm looking at the, the way that it's going to end up. So what I'll do is then I'll grab this entire pipeline, I'll drag it down into the user bin, and I'm going to call it uh, paint start. So whenever I have a, a setup, which happens quite often, I'll just grab this setup out of my user node bin, and then I'll connect up the nodes as I, as I need to. And then I'll go ahead and uh, paint on the, the element that I want to get rid of. In this case, it's um, in this case, it's a couple of these little bubbles. And I'll have the paint stroke set up to a recursive clone, so I can just quickly go in and paint out the little bubbles or tape marks or what have you. So it's a fast and easy way to, to get started with creating clean plates. So that's it. That's my quick tip. Uh, patch and paint or paint and patch. And that's it. Enjoy.